All right, this uh, intro is going to be a little bit backwards because we've already done a bunch of work. This is an 80 Cherokee Chief. It originally had a 258 straight six, uh, 727 automatic transmission, MP208 transfer case. Uh, we've already done spring over shackle flip to give it some lift and has these 35 inch tires on it. Well, by the time you put the tires on it with stock gearing, the 258, which is right there, uh, has no power, no power whatsoever. So we pulled the front clip off. We pulled the engine out. We've relocated the shock towers to accommodate the V8 engine mounts. They're a little bit different than the straight six and they're positioned a little bit different. Next, we have to move the transmission and transfer case forward a little, just a little bit. Some other changes that will need to be made will be the 727 transmission linkage for the goes to the carburetor. That's going to have to be changed. And that's going to be about it. Uh, front drive shaft has already been altered because of the lift. It's going to have to be altered again because of us having to move the transmission and transfer case forward. Obviously, also the rear drive shaft is going to be, have to be altered again. So stay tuned. I'm going to post a bunch of little videos about the small projects that this big project requires. All right, one part of the engine that we had to address was the timing chain cover. Uh, this is the old one. As you can see, it's got some bolts that are broken off from where the water pump went. That's very typical when you have steel bolts and aluminum housing and rust gets involved, metal, chemical oxidization, stuff like that. So we pulled this one off a junk engine i'll post that video in a little while um, we were not able to save the crankshaft pulley here's the another crankshaft pulley i'm sorry we we're not able to save the dampener the rubber around here cracks all the time and it ends up being no good i uh, try to pull it with these bolts and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't most of the time it doesn't Alright, so we, there's the oil pan, uh, valve covers, but when we tore, when we were tearing the engine down, we realized that one of the heads was cracked, not where you think a head would actually be cracked, this was cracked where the valve cover sits, and I think they're in here somewhere. Anyhow, we made the decision to not use that cylinder head. There's gaskets in there and carburetor, head bolts, push rods, stuff like that. But we decided to not use that one cylinder head because of where it was cracked. So we ended up pulling the passenger side um, cylinder head off of my 360 this engine is low miles maybe not even 80,000 miles on it it's had a rough life but we pulled this head off and we realized that the casting numbers were different between the head on the 360 that we picked up versus the this head not knowing what the differences were, I posted up on the Facebook full-size Jeep forums. Nobody knew. Everybody wanted to give me casting numbers for old 401s and old 360s and flow numbers. And I have all the information, but nobody could give us information on what the difference between the casting numbers are. So we didn't know if there was a difference, so we went ahead and pulled the cylinder head off of this side. So both cylinder heads matched. Uh... All of the valve train looks the same, but the last thing we want to do is have some issues. So we pulled both heads 
and been cleaned up. Uh, the heads need, still need the valve stem seals replaced. Um, on the used 360 that we picked up, I had a few bent push rods. Um, but everything else in the motor looks pretty good. So now all that's being cleaned and we are going to start assembling the heads off of this motor, which is an 86, onto the 78 or 79 short block. Um, we're going to use the timing cover off of that junk 360 that come out of the 88. So like usual, all of these Jeeps end up becoming a mismatch of parts through the years. As far as distributor goes, I think the distributor gear on the 78 or 79 that we got, the gear was messed up. So we're going to go with HEI and to get a set of matching gears, we are going to pull There's a distributor right here. This had a 304 in it from who knows what year because this is a 83, I think, and they didn't have 304s in 83. So somebody had swapped this was originally a straight six truck also. But we'll use that distributor gear and pull the cam gear off of the 304 that was in here so that we have a set of matched gears and we don't end up destroying something like so many people do. But I'll be posting little short videos of our progress. Uh, just like every other project, you get gung-ho on certain things and then it's the little things that take forever. Especially time and all that stuff. So stay tuned.